would be 82 years old before I would go see the parole board. And I came in when I was 33 years old, I came in. I met my husband many years ago when he was young. We was raised up together. So I was 14 years old when I got married. I was still a child. I was married about two years before the abuse started. Then it was just mental. I was fat, I was ugly. You're a whore like your mother. And I guess at first I thought maybe that's the way marriage is supposed to be. I would come home from work and uh, he'd be waiting for me. And I'd fix him something to eat. Well, it wasn't good enough. He would hit me and throw that on the floor. Our daughter, she had major back surgery and she was in a body cast. Well, she didn't get up off the divan fast enough for him. He whipped her with the belt. Life there just was not good. It was like being in prison. We did our best to protect each other because we knew that if one of us didn't cover our backs, we paid for it. I can't even explain how down he had me. I didn't even know who I was. When you kill somebody, you have to pay a price. On the other hand, the sentences these people got were way disproportionate to their um, culpability. The board did not correctly follow the statute, and so we filed a writ against them to force them to give them new hearings and hopefully come to what we believe is the right decision, which is that they've served enough time and they're no danger to society. The one thing about coming back 30 years later is that the guy is not there to present his side of the story. Is it possible that the women changed their story? Because if you can claim abuse years later, that's one way to beat your charge right. of being sentenced to life without parole. You know, when you're dealing with a case that's 30 years old, where evidence wasn't developed because it wasn't admissible, in many of these cases, there aren't any records of it because these women aren't permitted to get medical treatment. Carlene's mother saw bruises on her all the time, but because her husband was a police officer, he wouldn't let her complain to the police because those were his colleagues. So there were no police records, and the prosecutor's office in Springfield seemed to believe that that meant there had never been any abuse. This was in a period of time where battered woman syndrome had just been passed, and I don't think lawyers really knew what to do with it because they were afraid that jurors would not understand it and would blame the victim. Both of these women at the time said that I was never abused by my husband. So 30 years ago, they were given the opportunity to present evidence of abuse, but uh, they denied that they were abused. Absolutely. If you're gonna claim battered spouse syndrome, you have to admit you did the killing. And so it's a pretty big risk because you're relying on the jury to give you an out. But because it wasn't in the heat of battle, some jurors aren't gonna do it. Available now on iTunes.